Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have part two of my December nail polish haul. I previously did a poll on Instagram and you guys voted that you wanted to do a two part. When I filmed part one, I was still waiting for two more packages and today they arrived. Both of them are from Indies and both of them are actually mystery polish grabs with the exception of this beautiful polish that I'm wearing right now. Uh, this one I actually knew I was getting it because, well, duh, I purchased it. I wanted to try uh, Louis Lacquer's uh, Thermals. You've heard me talk on my channel about how I don't believe in polished backups, but I may have to make an exception with this one. And I know it's a risky one because it's a thermal, but I like the cold state so much that I don't mind if the thermal wears out, you know? This is so fantastic. And the color, you guys, I mean, just look at that color. Um, I do have the flashlight on my phone on today because I really want to make sure that you could see all that hollow. This polish literally glows. Like, it, this polish is, like, so beautiful. My husband said that, uh, you know, when it transitions into the lighter state, it's like, it looks like glistening snow on your nails, and I totally agree. I also ordered two uh, mystery polishes. Uh, she was having mystery grab bags for $7. Two polishes for $7. So I purchased um, one of those grab bags and I purchased the thermal. I immediately got the thermal out, but everything else that's in here, I haven't even looked around the bag. I only pulled this one out. So there's that. Let's go ahead and look into the rest of the envelope from Louis Lacquer. Like I said, I purchased two mystery polishes. So let's see what I got. Let's see the invoice still in here get that out of the way i know i also i know i was also going to receive a sample size of her uh, it's like her cuticle cream so i'm excited to try that here's more information on louise lacquer and now let's get into the polish shall we all right let's see what my mystery grab bag got for me oh i'm so excited this looks like a green you guys Oh, wow. Okay. It's, oh, wow. Are you seeing this? This is not, it's, wow. This is like a, I, I don't, I'm literally speechless. I don't know how to describe this color. Oh, but, wow. Look at all of that. I'm just, Wow. And the other one, oh, I, I, I'm I, sorry, guys. I can't even describe this. It's like in some angles, it looks like there's some pink shift to it, but it's a green at the same time, but I think that's a flash only. It's like a pewter, but at the same time, it's like taupey. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. All right, and the next one looks very promising. Let's check it out. All right, this one is more of a coral with a strong, uh, it's picking up very yellow here on screen, but it's more of like a lime green. Oh my goodness. And again, no name because these are mystery polishes. So yeah, this two guys uh, for $7 and free shipping. And they are amazing. I have a swatch wheel. And I told you guys I was gonna swatch the polishes for you this round. So let's let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. It's a silver. It's gonna be like a pewter with a ton of hollow glitter and that strong flash. That's what it is. Oh my gosh, look. Check it out, you guys. It looks very pigmented here, but I'm obviously going to add a second coat in a little bit when it dries. But just look at that. Oh my goodness. I, Sorry guys, I'm just in awe to be honest. I can't believe it. Now let's try this other one. This one might be a little bit more iridescent. Yeah. Not too bad though. This one is definitely going to take maybe two to three coats, but look at that flash. It looks like it's a very similar flash to the other one. Now that it's swatched, it looks like a little bit more pink than coral, but oh my goodness. 
very very impressed wow I, I can't believe it I believe I for all these three beautiful polishes I paid like $14 you guys I mean that's that's a steal so okay well, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll go back with the second coat and see how they look once you build them up for now let's take a deep breath and move on to the next package which is another beautiful envelope look at that you guys so pretty this is from polish polish and it's my first order from this indie maker as well but i know it's a favorite of many here on youtube so i'm excited to see what i got i ordered um five mystery polishes she had a sale at the end of the year so i'm very excited to see what i got all right here they are like i said i think i ordered five Yeah, see? Mystery overstock. That's what I ordered. So, let's see what I got. Start with this one. It looks green. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. This looks so pretty. You guys, I'm so excited. I love mystery purchases. Like, I love surprises. You guys have no idea. Oh, my goodness. This is so who are you who are you Ooh, trick or meant 2.0 wow oh my goodness this is gonna be look at those flakies can you see those flakies this is gonna be so glowy and shimmery wow love it let's see let's see another green another green you guys know I love my greens. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Look at all those flakies, you guys. Look. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is in the shade Mojito for Mrs. Claus. And I believe this was from the Christmas in July collection. So, so far, two, two beautiful greens. Let me swatch them before I forget to. Sorry, I just got very excited about opening them and how pretty they are and I apologize if you hear little kids in the background um, my nephews just got home so I'm gonna try to film this really fast now they're here to have a play date with my daughter and they got here before I could finish filming Let's see what I got here Ooh. you can definitely see all those flakies and oh my goodness this is so beautiful and that was one coat of trick or mint 2.0 now let's go to the second one that i opened which is a little darker green that was mojito for mrs claus Look at all those flakies, you guys. I'm so impressed. Let's continue unwrapping, and this one looks like another green. Let's see. Here it is. This one, it's more of a lime green, and it has a really nice, I want to say it's the famous, like, Aurora Shimmer. It's just my camera is not picking it up, but I can see it here when I tilt my bottle. So many flakies. So much hollow in here and this is in the shade sour apple snakes you guys I don't mind all this green to be honest I mentioned it in my previous haul that blue green and purple are my favorite colors so I am more than likely to love anything in this shade and oh my god these formulas are like butter so there is one coat of sour apple snakes look at that wow Okay, next up looks like a blue. Let's see. Whoa. Look at that glow. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is in the shade Retrograde. And this one doesn't have a collection name, so I don't know. Regardless, it's, I mean, it's a blue, guys. What? I, 
I'm speechless. Let's watch it. I am so impressed. These polishes are so beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe a sheer one. I don't know. Yeah, this one's going to take some build up. You can clearly see that glow from within, like that aqua glow. But um, we'll definitely have to build it up to see its full potential. And the last one, which uh, I wish it wasn't. I wish I had ordered more. Because this is really fun. These are very pleasant surprises. Ooh, this one's interesting and very holographic. Look at that. Look at that flash. It also has some iridescent flakies that I hope you guys are seeing, like, right there. And they're big, too. Wow. This is Pop Rock Panic 2.0. So let's see what this one's about. I mean, it's like the maker knew this was for me. I got purples. I got blue and greens. I mean, perfect, perfect mystery grab bag for me. So let's see what this one's about. All right, so here's my first coat. And this is another one that definitely has to be built up. It seems like this is gonna look on your nail like a full coverage glitter polish does. It's so pretty. Look at that. All right, so I can definitely sit here and stare at these polishes for a while. But like I said, I gotta go babysit. So let me go ahead and add coats where necessary. And I'll be right back with the final look on these polishes. All right, guys, so I'm back with two coats on everything. Uh, there are definitely some polishes that are gonna need a third one. But like I said, the kids are here and they are being kids, so they need my attention. So I'm gonna have to rush quickly through this review. But first up over here, these two polishes are the mystery polishes from Louis Lacquerat, two coats. Uh, this one right here, the corally pinky one, uh, it's a little bit brush strokey, but then again, I don't have an added top coat. So that might take it away. It's nothing too horrible though. I mean, you guys are seeing it. Um, and this one does dry dull, but you know, nothing that a good old top coat can fix. I mean, I am so excited about these polishes, you guys. They're stunning. Uh, and next, I mean, just look at this beautiful lineup that I got from Polish. What a great way to try out this brand for the first time with some of my favorite, favorite colors. The first one that, I, that you see right here is uh trick or mint and that's two coats it might need a third one i have no concerns i'm pretty sure this one's gonna get fully opaque on three and you can kind of see right there one of those iridescent flakies right there it's so pretty i love how they catch the light and i mean look at that color next uh it's another one that got pretty good opacity on two but i feel that you're definitely gonna need that third one because it's just a very deep uh green here on the bottle and that was Mojito for Mrs. Claus. So here it is. Look at those beautiful flakies. I mean, this, this is so beautiful. I really love this shade of green. Next door to it is this beautiful lime green with tons of hollow. A beautiful flash that you can clearly see right there. And those iridescent flakies again. This one was Sour Apple Snakes. And this one looks pretty opaque too. I did went a little heavier on the second one, so maybe that's why. I mean, just look how gorgeous that is. The only one that worries me is the blue one. Here it is, two coats, and it's still very sheer. And when I start looking into, you know, the formula and everything, it does look a little bit um, sheer and um, kind of thin. So I'm afraid that it might not end up getting opaque on three. We'll see once I put it on my nails, but again, that was retrograde from Polish. It's still a beautiful color. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just wear it as a topper. But I hope I don't need to go to that because I tend to ignore my toppers a lot. But there it is, you guys. I mean, it's so beautiful. Like that flash that it has kind of reminds me of the flash on um, Light of Lyra from Tonic. I'm not saying they're the same, but it, it's reminding me of that one. And last but definitely not least, we have this, what turned out to be more of like a full coverage glitter slash flaky polish because it does have a lot of iridescent flakies, which I'm not sure my phone is picking up. But that is 
Pop Rock Panic 2.0. And here it is in two coats. This one, I feel it's another one that's going to need a third one. But I'm pretty sure with three, you're going to have more than enough. If you have shorter nails, I'm pretty sure this can be a two-coater as well. It's just perfection, you guys. Overall, I am very happy with this haul. I mean, look at these colors. They're my kind of colors. I am very happy with my haul. I'm very happy with these polishes. I hope... I hope you enjoy watching. Sorry, it's a little rushed, but I really wanted to share these polishes with you ASAP, especially because I I cannot leave an unopened polish package just sitting on my couch. Like I have to open it immediately. So again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. If you own any of these polishes, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.